We're approaching the time when Muslims around the world will celebrate the feast of Eid al-Adha. This is not only a time for family feasting, but also for sharing with neighbors and people in need. And it's also a celebration for which special dishes are prepared. This week, Zainab and Fatima Parak take us through the preparation for a festive menu. Hi and welcome to our kitchen. We are the Chili Chocolate Chefs. I am Zainab and this is my sister Fatima. Today we have an amazing spread in keeping with our Eid feast. Eid al-Adha is actually a sacrifice feast which is celebrated by Muslims throughout the world. Muslims sacrifice an animal just as thanks to God. The animal is divided into three parts. A part goes to the family, a second part goes to friends, relatives and neighbours and the last part is given to the poor and needy. What's really nice about our family is the fresh meat is slaughtered and then prepared into lavish meals for dinner that evening. On the menu today we have a traditional lamb roast served with chamula brinjal, a zato chickpea salad and an almond nougat cheesecake. I'm going to start with the brinjal and then it's going to get busy with the lamb so we can pop them both in the oven at the same time. For the lamb marinade we have crushed chili flakes, zeal, cumin and coriander powder, turmeric, chili powder, ginger garlic and fresh lemon. We're going to squeeze a fair amount into our bowl. This will actually make the marinade stick and it's essential in keeping it nice and moist and tender. Okay, now I'm going to add the crushed chili flakes, just a little bit. So a bit of zeal, then my cumin and coriander mix, a bit of turmeric, this is just for the color, chili powder, and some ginger garlic. You're gonna give this a nice mix. It needs to be a nice paste, that can be smeared over your leg. If you have the time, try to take your meat out 15 minutes before you're serving. It just allows for even cooking and it makes the dish so much more amazing. Also, choose a roast that has the bone in. The flavor is so much more enhanced as well. And now I need to add in my mayonnaise. I'm gonna take two to three big tablespoons and tomato paste. You need to mix this really nicely. So this is perfect. It's time to marinate our meat. All I'm doing now is slicing the brinjal in half. So we have two and now I'm going to score the brinjals. So just do slits at an angle so that the paste can seep through and the flavor seeps all the way through the brinjal. So we're going to do it for all of them. After scoring them, I'm gonna just place them into the roasting tray. These are actually going to be topped with the chamula spice. Chamula is a very popular Moroccan spice. It's actually popular across the Middle East and it's very, very nice served with fish and seafood goes well with vegetables as well. To make the spice, I just need a serving bowl. So I'm gonna put in all of the garlic, two teaspoons of the crushed chilies, two teaspoons of my paprika as well, a teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of coriander powder. I'm going to squeeze in some fresh lemon juice, a good dash of olive oil, just to moisten the rub, so it's easy for us to spread over the brindles and we're going to mix it all together so it becomes nice and well combined from here I'm going to spread it over the brindle make sure you're quite generous with the spreading of the chamola you want it to seep through into those beautiful diamond scores that you've made and once it's baked then the flavor goes through quite nicely and there you have it so this is beautifully marinated I'm going to now make little indents into the lamb to poke my herbs in. This allows for flavor. The herbs we'll be using are rosemary, some thyme, and fresh mint. I'm gonna place these little pieces of herbs into the little incisions. You wanna try and get as much in so this is my mom's favorite recipe. It brings back a lot of childhood memories. Uh, we'd always look forward to dinner when there's roast on the menu. Are you ready? Can we go? Yes, I am. Cool. 
The lamb goes in the oven on 180 for two hours. I'm gonna put the brinjal in, but we'll have to keep a check on the brinjal because these are going to be ready much sooner. While this is cooking, let's get started with our salad. So the next item we're making is a Middle Eastern chickpea salad. A very fresh, colorful salad. We're using za'atar, which is a Middle Eastern spice to flavor our chickpeas. Uh, we've got some bundi, which is an Indian snack made with chickpea flour. So very interesting uh, mix of ingredients. I'm gonna start by laying down the lettuce. So we have this lovely lettuce, all different colors, and lay it straight onto my platter. For salads, most often we like to use mini cucumbers because it's much more smaller and it looks nicer in a salad as well. So these you just cut into little rings and they're perfect then for the salad. That's enough tomato. I'm gonna season my chickpeas with the za'atar. Give it a nice mix. You want it to be well coated. We're now going to add the rest of our ingredients, starting with the bundi. Bundi is actually an Indian snack made with fried chickpea flour and then it's seasoned, so it's very, very nice and flavorsome. The next item is the marinated feta. We've roughly chopped our red onions. And then we're going to add in the cucumber. The colors are really vibrant and it looks so fresh. We're going to add in the chickpeas next. And we're going to add in the fresh coriander leaves. Give it a nice toss and we're ready to season. I'm going to slice the lemon so we can squeeze it over. It's a nice fresh lemon juice into the salad. The main thing with the salad is making sure your seasoning is right because you've got nice salt and pepper, lemon and olive oil, that's all you need for the salad. And if that's right, then you've got a perfect flavor. Next, I'm gonna add the olive oil. You want the salad to have a lovely shine. And then your salt and crushed black pepper. We're ready to assemble the salad. Remember to keep some nice height on the salad. And we're ready to garnish. I like to sprinkle it down the center. Be very generous with the nut topping. Uh, it creates a lovely crunchiness to your salad. And it's ready. Doesn't this Middle Eastern chickpea salad look delicious? I think I need to check the brinjals in the oven. Yes, you do. The brinjal has been in for 20 minutes and it's perfectly ready to use. We're going to start seasoning our couscous. This is a lovely um, topping that goes over the brinjal. We'll start by seasoning with salt and pepper. Next, we put in the finely chopped spring onion. Then is finely chopped danya as well. And a good squeeze of lemon juice. And we finish off with some olive oil. I'm gonna give this to Fatima to top the brinjals and I'm going to get our dressing ready. For the dressing, we've got yogurt, a bit of crushed black pepper, and some salt. Give it a nice mix, and that's ready. Let's dress this. So we're gonna to top it with the yogurt, and finish off with our flaked almond mix. I'm just gonna take them and plate them onto this platter so they are ready to serve with our lamb. I'm just checking on the lamb. That looks like it's gonna be ready in an hour, uh, which is perfect because it gives us time to sort out our cheesecake. The cheesecake was very easy to make. All we did was mix all the ingredients together. We baked it in the oven for 20 minutes and we stored it in the fridge overnight. This is a baked cheesecake, so it's actually my favorite. And I love almond, so it's two of my favorite items put together. So we start with the cream. So we're just going to smear over beaten cream. So we've just freshly whipped cream over the cheesecake. So it balances out the sweetness of it. 
Now I'm going to add the nougat. And that's the last one. And now for some chocolate decor. And I'm just going to get the rest of the decor. And now I'm going to add one of these chocolate fingers in there. Wow, this looks lovely. Oh, this looks perfect. Lovely. To garnish, I have lemon slices, rosemary, thyme and some mint. We've got some roasted potatoes, which I'm going to place all around. These go really well with your lamb. And that's ready. This is the perfect three-course feast for Eve.